Good morning, students. Welcome back to uh, my uh, sixth lecture uh, of your C seven zero one environmental engineering subject. The topic again is the groundwater. Continuing the last part today. Now I am going to deliver it of the groundwater. So far, so far is my previous two lectures that was based on some numerical problems, directions, concept, derivation of the formulas. Now the questions will come on the short notes also. So we will discuss the descriptive criteria that is the short notes part that is the theoretical part. Now we will discuss regarding the ground data. Certain areas we will explore where maximum questions comes generally in the exam in the form of short questions or short notes. Now, uh, as we already discussed, there are two major sources of the water supply. Is one is the ground water which we are discussing and. Uh, this is the last lecture of the ground uh, water source that I am, I am delivering in my sixth lecture in this class. Uh, I mean to say the source of water, uh, one of the sources is ground water which we are discussing now. Now how the water are extracted from the ground as a source, that mechanism we will discuss today. That how the source is applied for Utilizing that water from the ground. So one of the structure now I will describe that is the infiltration gallery for collecting the water from the ground. How the water is collected? One mechanism now I am going to describe the infiltration gallery. Now what is infiltration gallery? Gallery means it is a conveying system through which the material conveys. The general terminology is a gallery. Here the materials means water flows in the piping system. So some perforated pipe is there. Let me describe the mechanism how it works. The perforated pipes are there. It is conveying the water. So let the pipe is a gallery. It's a circular gallery. It's a perforated pipe and it is covered by some Paper materials of uh, larger size to uh, smaller size from the inner to outwards, so that that covered material will act as a filtered media on the pipe, so that the uh, I mean to say the uh, dark particles should not be uh, entered into the piping system. Now, let me describe the. Uh, what, what is the layer, outside layer, uh, which is covered on the piping system? Now, layer means uh, it is basically, just a minute, I am just adjusting this. Yes, uh, 16, meter, 16 centimeter ballast of uh, 25 millimeter to 50 millimeter size, that means the largest size, inner part of the pipe is covered with the, with the larger size, that means just immediately on the top portion of the pipe, it is covered with the 16 centimeter, that is 160 mm thickness of the uh, ballast size of 25 milliliter to 50 milliliter. So largest particles we are using in the inner part. As we go on outward from the pipe diameter, so we'll use the smaller size particles. Like next layer, we'll uh, use the 16 centimeter large pebble that is of size of 12 millimeter to 24 millimeter, the smaller from the previous one. And the outermost layer of the finest, that is of the particle size of, that is the pebble size of 3 millimeter to 10 millimeter size of the 24 uh, centimeter thickness. So ultimately 560 millimeter, that is the 56 centimeter uh, over around the pipe that has to be maintained into the piping system, in the perforated pipe system, which is called as a gallery. So what is the mechanism? Mechanism is that pipe, circular pipe, will be laid along the bank of the river. Why along the bank of the river? Because water will flow towards the bank. So if I place the conveyor, uh, that conveyor gallery, that means the infiltration gallery, the water will infiltrate into the gallery. Water from the river will flow uh, from the bottom as well as from the side. It will infiltrate into the perforated pipe system. That's why 
the pipe are made perforated for entering into the uh, for allowing the passage of the water into the piping system and to safeguard to uh, the dirty particles may already uh, already dirty particles are protected entering into the pipe system by some filter media which are using in the form of pebbles or some made as i have discussed of various side in the form of pebbles or in the form of ballast from the larger size to smaller size from the inner inner core to the outer core that we have discussed the 560 mm thickness just like filter media it has been covered with the ballast and pebbles to safeguard the dirty particles which should not be entered into the perforated pipes only pure water will enter into the piping side piping uh, in the pipe which is perforated and perforations are made for entering into the pipe flow of water into the pipe and at the sump which is at the downstream system of that infiltration gallery in that sump the total water will collected because water will flow to the infiltration gallery and from that by the intake structure the water we are receiving for our drinking purpose so this is one of the source of ground water uh collection of the source of the ground water uh, collection of the ground water source uh, one mechanism i am highlighting that is called the infiltration gallery and it is provided this type of gallery is being provided in a shallow day so this is one of the example of the ground water source in question objective mcq also comes the infiltration gallery is a subsurface or surface source it is absolutely a subsurface source of water that is the ground we have seen now the topic i will dis uh, i will discuss on the ground water that is the spring naturally when we are go to the excursion and see and enjoy the springs like elemental spring we apparently it is seen it is a surface flow but it is not a surface flow it is basically the ground water flow in form of the surface it is basically the ground water flow in form of the surface Uh, so that's why we can see in the surface, but ultimately it is a source of groundwater. So different due to different types of faults of the uh, terrain, rock, under the uh, that the erosion of the soil, erosion of the faulty of the rock, and different configuration of the underground stratum, the water finds hindrance. I mean to say the underground water finds hindrance. in flowing underground and it is emerged as a surface as a water which we can see it but this is absolutely the uh, ground water which is formed as a surface as a spring now let us describe the various forms of spring which is very very interesting and you can gather the knowledge from various springs so many springs are there because stratum stratum spring overflow spring contact spring at the synonym are same thing here i am telling now i am discuss, describing what is the stratum spring what is the contact spring what is the overflow spring both are all are all three terminology are same you see i have shown one figure that is the stratum spring in the right rightmost point where you can observe that it is formed when the downward passage of ground water in a permeable deposit is hindered in the in that that means it is registered by an underlying impervious layer so after the flowing of water in the permeable uh, stratum it find an hindrance in flowing because some underlying impervious layer is there so what will happen the ground water emerges as a spring it will because water cannot be resisted by hook or by means it will try to emerge so water emerges as a spring at the contact which contact between the impervious and pervious layer that contact so it is also also called the uh, contact spring also as well as sometimes it is called also called the overflow spring also as it overflow so stratum spring contact spring or over spring are due to the hindered or hindered by an underlying impervious layer in the pervious layer as we have seen in the figure now ground water emerges as a spring at the contact of the formation and hence such spring is known as the contact spring 
another kind of stratum spring may arise at the junction of two formations where permeable beds deep beneath an impermeable cover that means it forms as an artesian that means it is in confined layer that means if i say the permeable stratum is very deep beneath an impermeable stratum impermeable cover then also this type of spring will occur in this type of situation see the another photograph there is the artesian spring that i was discussing uh, uh actually uh, this impervious layer aquifer is underlaid by the impervious layer and the artificial artesian spring is at, as it is a confined one so it is artesian spring is arises at the downward stream you can see again in the uh, topmost point we can see the overflow spring the flow continuing then the contact point where it find the impervious layer so it cannot fall so it emerges as a pressure on the ground it, and is mixing with the water table so it will try to uh, mix with the water table and finally it will discharge into the natural sources of water very funny thing is a valley spring sometimes we are using what is valley spring let me show the above figure then we will see the valley spring because you have to understand through the figure only how the formation of the spring you see it is indicated valley spring is indicated due to the erosion of the soil in due time water will flow at a level that level is constant that is the water level water will uh, flow with the water path it is it was once upon a time under the ground but suppose in the ground erosion happens so water uh, ground falls down ground falls down from its previous level but water will remain at its same level previous level what will happen water will be emerged on the surface due to due to punching of the ground that is due to down of the down level of the ground due to erosion or whatever it is so that is that creates like a valley so it is called the valley spring it appears as a valley so a valley spring is due to the emergence of the water table but the topography falls below its level such as no such, uh, such as shown in the figure which i have shown to you that water flows out at the surface and feeds the surface stream so this is called the valley valley stream last i will describe the faulty spring fault spring what is that another spring is artesian spring but let me describe the fault spring then last point i will describe the artesian spring fault spring means let me go to the figure first then it will be very this is a fault spring this is the natural phenomena suppose on the pan uh, beside the permeable one impermeable strata is there so what happen after the permeable stratum some impermeable layer is there so definitely there uh, after the permeable when it enters into the impermeable it cannot flow so it will emerge as a faulty spring that means uh, when i am talking the a uh, faulty spring suppose in limestone district where there is much underground water in circulation stream flow along bedding planes in channels enlarged by solutions and may emerge springs uh, as a faulty spring now uh, this is uh, due to the uh, due to the position of the uh, impermeable stratum by faults beside the permeable stratum now what is the artesian spring artesian spring arises where there is water is confined in permeable rock under artesian end artesian end means it is in confined because above the layer some uncon uh, some unconfined aquifer is there so it is in confined zone so this type of uh, when spring is we are talking about definitely since it is a confined zone we can call it as a artesian spring It, if this covers is locally broken by fracturing or if the artesian aquifer outcrop the artesian water below emerges as an artesian spring artesian spring the name of the artesian spring alternative name of the artesian spring also the geysers uh, now 
the deep seated springs are associated with the vulcanicity and deep fractures and ill juvenile water and not the rain water what do you mean by juvenile water juvenile mean water means the original water at the ground not formed by the rain so there are the two methods collecting water from the spring ultimately how do i collect the water from the spring because this is the natural source of water for our collection how we are uh, placing our intake structure for taking the water for taking the extracting the water from the ground water spring that figure i have shown this is the how from the spring the intake system is there uh, the pipeline is there the supply line whirlpool line has shown how the intake system is being placed to uh, tap the water that is intake structure also shown beside the spring spring so this is also another figure that some impervious layer is there water bearing stratum clay is there and it is how the uh, water is being taken from the spring collected from the collection of water from springs these two figures i have shown you so various type of springs i have described now i am describing the past aquifer aquifer you all know the water strat uh, water bearing stratum under the ground that is called aquifer now what is past aquifer it is a special type of one confined aquifer the objective question frequently comes from this topic it is a special type of one confined aquifer and occurs when why i am calling it is special type because here there are two types of ground level are occurring why two types of ground level now where the ground water body is separated from the main ground water by a relatively impermeable strata you see the top level at uh, the bottom water level is the main ground water level while between the if you see the figure i am just describing the bottom water level that is the true water level under the ground now in between the top of the in between the ground level and the water level you find on impermeable stratum is there which is shown as a hatchet line and that stratum bears water so definitely their parts water level another water level is found apart from the water level that is the temporary water table which is defined as a parts water table or the portion of the parts aquifer so this is formed how this is formed now when it occurs a ground water body is separated from the main water body by a relatively impermeable stratum of small aerial extent which is shown by the hatchet line and by the zone of the aeration above the main body of ground water so uh, by natural phenomena some impermeable stratum has come that's why the two different stratum of water level we can see at that particular zone and that is why it is called the past aquifer and it is the level of the water contains it is is called the past water level because it is slightly different from that water level it is above the, above the water level. so these questions may come on the uh, either in form of mcq or short notes short notes definitely every year comes in your exam so these are the short questions i have to have described what are the infiltration gallery different type of springs i have described and the past aquifer these are the structures the subsurface structures that is the ground water from where we can get the uh, water as a source for our drinking purpose so our intake structure are accordingly being take, uh, installed for tapping the water from these sources so this is all about that ground water we have already uh, solved some numerical problems on the ground water definitely on the well of the both the unconfined confined aquifer we have described what to mean by the ground water well systems that different different uh, aquifer we have described and uh, this is the whole about that ground water sources we have discussed from next class onwards we start the next topic that is the surface water that is the another source of water so you you can go through this uh, lecture notes in the google uh, classroom i definitely will give some questionnaires related uh, in form of some short question mcqs 
and tutorials which will be done from your side after going i am just giving you the time to go through these lectures then again we will be meeting in the next class with the subject water thank you goodbye uh, have a nice day thank you